What's up everyone, it's Peter again from YaVR and this time we'll show you our very own, very new, very cool, very space combat game. This game is the third after Marineverse Cup and Epic Roller Coasters that can be played on a Quest 2 as a standalone headset connecting to the Yaw 2 motion simulator. This is not yet out, so prob probably we will soon publish it on SideQuest and then hopefully on the Quest Store too. So let me just quickly show you how to set it up on a PC if you have the APK. So I already connected the Quest to the PC, so what I do here is just open up side quest, click the install apk file for your computer, yeah, you just, uh, you can check the Quest is connected, so green light, that's great, um, and this is the latest version of the game, so I just open it, starting app install, Running tasks and all tasks completed, so we can leave the PC here. Close side quest as well, and that's all that we need the PC for. And now, now let's turn to the quest. Don't need this cable anymore, and I'll just set it to the device. It's a little bit easier, of course, without the the mount system because you actually don't need any controllers for this game i'll tell you the controls you just use the quest controllers so let's see now we're in the quest what i do here is just open up the app library click on unknown sources and here it is space fighter new well as i mentioned it's not published yet so it's sort of a beta edition now in the game what you do is click on your device it's, this device is now called yaw 2 pro click on it once then you see the device here in the bottom and then you click connect now before hitting single player if you turn your head to the right you see the instructions pretty simple you just use the controllers um, yeah everything as it is as it's written there on this animation you can see how to steer your vehicle or spacecraft uh, you use the left controller for that that's all what's not mentioned here is that you aim with your headset so wherever I look I shoot there pretty simple Okay, let's hit it. So in the game, the red arrows will mark the enemies and as I mentioned, steering is done with the left controller. Um, it's not that bad, I mean it's, it's hard to get used to it, but after like one or two gameplays, it feels comfortable. And another very good thing here is that, yeah, I, I know I'm supposed to shoot the enemies, but uh, I'm just concentrating on the movement and on telling you how awesome the motion compensation is actually. So that's a big thank you for the software development team, because I think this motion compensation is way better than any that I tried before. Cause I think you, you can see that I'm moving around quite a lot 
and still, even though I'm prone to motion sickness, I feel good, like, no problem at all. Uh, so these yellow gates, okay, so he's stuck. <laughs> Uh, so the yellow gates are for upgrades or more rockets or whatever The green gates are for healing and the red are so the red Squares are the enemies and you can actually decelerate so you can more easily shoot the moving enemies and then accelerate again You can move by shooting if you think that the enemies will attack you that's called strafing video gaming. I think it's pretty fun. So it's, uh, yeah, it's the end of the game already. Well, I can do another one just for fun, but I think I showed everything that you need. So let's do another one. Let's click on back to main menu. Then it you might need to recenter with the Oculus Quest button again and then connect again. And when that's done, then it goes back to center and then you recenter again with the Oculus Quest button. And hit single player and back on track. So, what I forgot to tell you is that you, you can see your ammunition on the right and left hand side for the primary and the secondary weapons primary is the machine gun secondary is the rocket very cool Okay, when you hit something, you actually feel that a little bit from the motion. Um, I didn't know I'm gonna hit that satellite, but... And when they are close enough, there's also a circle which means that you can actually shoot them finally with the with the rockets. I don't know what happens when I hit the enemy because it did not happen too much too often. Anyways, yep. I'm just moving around to show you the movements, but Sometimes it makes sense to slow down a little bit. Okay, end of the game again. Great. So this was fun. I mean, honestly, and not just because this is our very own product, I pretty enjoy the game uh, and I, I think you will love it too. Hopefully we will publish it soon, uh, either on SideQuest or in any other form. I will try to urge this because uh, it's really fun to play it and next time I will certainly do a multiplayer option with one of my colleagues because I would love to challenge one of them, especially the developers. And hope you liked the video, thanks for your attention. Any feedback more than welcome, especially because again, this is our own game and it will be really helpful to hear your opinion on the game. And see you next time. Thanks. Cheers.